Hey, what's up, my good people? It's me, your homegirl, Adosha Wright. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have a wonderful video, and this one is all about a loss of my curl pattern. Help me, Key Lolo. Help me, girl. Oh, my curls is gone. My waves is gone. I got you. Just remember, on this platform, it's a no hair shaming zone because... 2022 is the year of release all right so let's get down to it <laughs> oh no oh no 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 you remember that one yeah help me key lolo i done lost my curl pattern what's happening what's going on here i don't know what to do i've been finger combing i've been using water i've been moisturizing i've been hot oiling lock method i've been doing everything but i just don't understand why this is happening to my texture why am i losing texture what am i doing wrong and i rarely use heat and i'm natural i've been doing everything with dosha can you help me of course i can welcome to my youtube channel good people does this hair look like yours? Remember the culprits. The wrong products, the wrong tools, and the wrong technique. Yeah, I got wrong tools, wrong tools, wrong techniques, okay? That's what we're going to discuss today. How to fix this mess. First things first, the first culprit is when you're wearing natural hairstyles with twists, braids, locks, on, and so forth, it is going to be this method here of intertwining hair that breaks down the disulfide bonds that causes this. When you couple that with waxes and hair, gels and resins, this is the result when you leave those braids in for an extended period of time with waxes, you start to break down the texture. The wrong tools again, the wrong tools, the wrong tools, and the wrong techniques. What am I doing wrong? You know what? You ain't showing no Afro love. So let's get started with some Afro love. Here we go. First things first, you must always use the right comb. Now the right comb is available at myrevair.com or you may very well have this comb at home and you're just not using it. If you have a lot of texture, you must use the right comb so that you do not put too much tension on the hair, but you must use the right comb properly. Also, waxes and braiding gels and all this, they're going to break down those disulfide bonds because the friction, make it the little baby toes, the little friction there. The friction from braiding, yes. That is what's breaking the disulfide bonds, making your hair look like it's been what? Relaxed. Making it look like you've got heat damage when in fact you've got friction. That's why I always say the flat arms and everything, the heat gets a bad rap. Heat doesn't necessarily come with styling tools. So what's the solution? Protein. You get build up from all those waxes and resins and all those products, those pomades, they build up on the hair and they break the hair down. But if you use protein in between your braid services, while you're getting your hair braided, your texture will return. Better yet, you won't lose your texture at all. If you're going to a braider and they're not using any protein, get out the chair or buy you some Deca Plus and take it to the hair salon or the braiding parlor with you and have the braider use it on your hair beforehand. And then you're gonna use it on your braids in between your braid service. So if you're wearing braids, I would spray the Deca Plus Satin Tame on your hair twice a day to prevent this from happening. Hair is protein, guys. So you need protein. It's just that simple. And you can see her textures, you know, trying to revert and come back. You don't have to chop it off. You just need to use what? Protein. 
and that's a simulation of how protein works. They coat the hair, seal the cuticle, the hair becomes nice and strong as it sits in your braids, your faux locks, your cornrow braids, your twist, whatever, okay? Next up, now you've got to protect it because maybe you're gonna put braids back in your hair. Maybe you want a silk press. Maybe you wanna do a rod set or a straw set. So what do you need? The right technique. And this is where the new Rev Air comes into play because it too does the same thing that that protein does. That's right, the Rev Air will gently lay those cuticles flat and voila. Now I know what you're saying, man, that thing costs so much money. Do you want your hair? If the train jumped the track, do you want your hair back? Invest in that Rev Air. It will gently seal that cuticle, dry your hair, and make it safe for you to do whatever you like to do to your hair. In addition, you'll have a wonderful experience when using the Rev Air. You won't burn your neck, you won't burn your ears, you're gonna get your kitchen straight. Don't worry, the Rev Air has got you faded and they got flex pay. I know what you're saying. You're trying to sell this thing. No, I ain't. I'm trying to help you out. You've got to protect your hair. Make the investment. The Rev Air is the device for you. I don't style hair without it. There's no tugging, no excessive pulling. You can adjust the tension. The heat is low. It's just a wonderful, wonderful tool if you like to alter your hair in various hairstyles, be it braids, locks, twists, flat iron, flips, spikes, rod sets, perps, it doesn't matter. The Rev Air is gonna keep that texture intact. And you can see she still has some texture there, giving me some room so that I can do what? Silk press her hair. So as you can see with the Rev Air, you get minimal to no tension at all all so i'm just exaggerating my movements so you can see just how gentle and safe this is especially on someone whose hair is already compromised i know some of y'all like i don't care what you say i ain't spending that kind of money on that thing i don't know key lolo okay just watch me hold on work with me on this video because i'm just gonna walk you guys through so here you see that's the rev air nice fluffy still some texture left not all the way straight not too much heat all right remember the wrong tools the wrong tools and the wrong techniques all right so now let's go back to the wrong now this is a, this is a good technique i'm going to be fair so when you're going to use a blow dryer look what you got to do you got to pamper this hair because remember the hair is already compromised so you can't put an attachment and blow dry this hair you can't take your dimming brush or your or your comb and start what drying this hair you have to dry it first so that you can do what put some tension on it the Rev Air, you wouldn't have to do all this. Remember, you could just put that wand on. So now I have to have the proper technique when using the dimming brush. So I have to go in and grip the hair so that I can stretch the texture. I have to keep that blow dryer moving. I have to keep it moving because if I don't, I'm going to singe her hair. And I have to ever so gingerly get the right amount of tension using the right dimming brush, which that one is the nine row heavyweight handle. And that's how I can effectively blow dry her hair. Now, can you do that? Probably not. You can't do it. But if you use the Rev Air, you don't have to worry about it because the Rev Air is going to do all of that for you. See how straight the blow dryer got it? Eh, it's compromised. You don't really want to get it that straight. You want to look to the left of your screen and see some texture left. Look at how much more voluminous the Rev Air has her hair. It's the friction 
Look at those little baby feet. It's the friction. The wrong tools. The wrong tools and the wrong technique. Okay? The wrong tools would be the comb if you got the wrong comb. And then that blow dryer. Not good when the hair is compromised. And if you're braiding hair using those waxes and resins and braid stuff, you know that hair is compromised, okay? So here I have it on super speed, hyper mode. And I just want you guys to see just how much thicker her hair is. Because remember, I'm going to flat iron it. And I'm going to also shape her ends up. And she is. She's going to put the braids back in her hair because she's going back to school. Her mom is going to make the investment in the Rev Air to keep this from happening. Because eventually, she wants to wear her hair wash and go. So that's the finished results. And you have to admit, beautiful. Look at that. Thicker, stronger. And, yeah, we got the kitchen. Everybody wants to know, will the Rev Air soften? Will it stretch the kitchen? The answer is yes. The Rev Air will stretch the the kitchen without compromising it so there's the finished results on her silk press and then I went through I just lightly dust her ends off because I used the rev air I did not have to cut off a lot because I now with the new rev air by the way you can use oil voila look at that she's going back to school very happy very healthy She's a young girl. Her mom shouldn't be spending all her money in a hair salon. Her mom could buy the Red Vera, dry it at home, pay me to flat iron it. Help change the narrative, guys. It's just that simple. Afro hair is not difficult. If you want to know where to get all the wonderful products I used on her hair, shop at my Amazon store. Don't forget, you got a couple of more weeks before the textures exhibit ends at the Kent State thing. University. People say it's about black hair. Check out my podcast. Also, if you need any help with your hair, email me at ladoshaw at yahoo.com and I'll send you a free hair and scalp journal that's a PDF. Also, my documentary is coming out. The truth about Afro hair. We're going to let it be told. The narrative. Please, guys, can you hit that thumbs up button? I need your help to get into those algorithms. Y'all know how it goes down on YouTube. Hit the little bell icon so you'll know when I upload. Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the content. Last but not least, check me out on all the other social media platforms. Peace, love, and hair. If you ain't got no hair, then rub your beautiful bald head. Thanks. I love you. And y'all stay good out here. It's me, your homegirl, Key Lolo.